And that's it. It's all she wrote with the win against Crystal Palace. Chelsea are the champions of England for the first time in five years. We're back where we rightfully belong at the top of the table with a capital C on the right side of our name as well as the left. We're the champions of England. But that's not where the good news ends because before the game against Crystal Palace, Chelsea were told that Liverpool would have to give them the guard of honour on the 10th of May, assuming that they won, which we did. So now Steven Gerrard is going to have to clap away as the Chelsea players walk through for the only title that Gerrard never managed to win in England. Going back a decade, Steven Gerrard said these words. The last six weeks have been the toughest of my life and the decision I've come to has been the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I fully intended to sign a new contract after the Champions League final with Liverpool, but the events of the last five to six weeks have changed all that in an interview to Sky Sports News. Now that brought news that Chelsea and Liverpool had agreed a fee for Steven Gerrard and that he was due to move to the current champions of England. But circumstances changed all that. For one reason or another, whatever you believe, Steven Gerrard didn't sign for Chelsea and at the last minute decided to stay at Liverpool. The Liverpool fan, and I say that in inverted brackets as no fan burns the shirt, decided to set a light to the shirt which has your badge on the front, remember that, but Gerald would remain a red. There have been numerous times when Gerald could have done without the pain of Chelsea. Of course, Manchester United are his fiercest rivals as well as Everton due to location, but there is no denying that without Chelsea, Steven Gerrard would have had a much easier life. Of course, he'll have good memories with the Luis Garcia goal to take Liverpool through, but he'll also have some bad ones, most notably not signing for Chelsea when he could have won the Premier League with them, although I will give credit to him, he did stay and he did win multiple other trophies with Liverpool. Of course, go back a season when he slipped and gave it to Jemba Barr. I know we keep bringing it up, we keep singing about it at Stamford Bridge, we keep singing about it away, but it's what happened. And the reason that it's such a big deal is because it stopped Gerrard winning the title, basically. It stopped their run and Man City would eventually go on to win the title. And of course, it would be Gerrard's last chance as this season Liverpool have been woeful in the Premier League. But there is one more twist to the tale and that is on the 10th of May, Chelsea hosts Liverpool at Stamford Bridge and Steven Gerrard has to lead, assuming he is captain or at least be a part of the guard of honour to congratulate John Terry and his boys on winning the title. How much has that got to hurt seeing the only title that he wanted to win? He's made it clear that he wanted to win the Premier League. It's not a secret. Of course, he's had a great career at Liverpool, but the only title that he wanted to win, and he's going to have to applaud it for the last time. Obviously, he might come back on loan, but he's off to the MLS at the end of the season. He won't have another chance to win the Premier League title. And now he's going to have to applaud the very team that he could have joined and won it with. There is, of course, that viral video of Chris Pajak of the Redmen TV. You're bound to have seen it of him calling Chelsea rent boys. I can't help but think that Chris, this is some sort of karma for that rant on Chelsea. Your captain, your leader, having to give Chelsea the guard of honour that they rightfully deserve. Guys, I've been Footy Writer for 100% Chelsea. For new exclusive content, make sure you subscribe. Drop a like on the video if you are new. And as always, have a great day.